Hey there everybody, it's the real Enix, and I welcome you to my first walkthrough of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Alright, let's get started and jump right into the game. With a new file here, as their name as Enix. Alright, let's get started. in the vast, deep forest of Hyrule. Long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokairi, live here with me. Each Kokairi has his or own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have his fairy. That's us! Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. Oh, Navi, the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku Tree. It's Mustache Man! Do dost thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevolent forces, even though now, are myth mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokari Force, the source of the life, has stood as a barrier, daring, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil power, even my power is nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The young, the youth who just, whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule through the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now, find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Abby, fly, the fate of the forest, nay, the world depends on thee. Through the legs. This is gonna be very annoying. Nice one. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Enix, wake up. The great Deku Tree wants to talk to you. Enix, get up. Hey, come on. Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Apparently we're a girl. We're really high-pitched. He finally woke up. I'm Navi the Fairy. The Great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. The Great Deku Tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now. In case you haven't noticed, this is the Nintendo 64 version of Ocarina of Time. Yahoo! Hi, Enix. All right. Main controls, easy. Um, use your uh, control stick to walk around. Um, if you're playing this with the Nintendo 64 version on the Wii, like I am, with the classic controller, you can use these things. So let's just walk around, press A to roll. 
All right, now the Great Deku Tree, since he wants to speak to us, we just want to head this way to the Great Deku Tree. Hey you, Mr. No Fairy, what's your business with the Great Deku Tree? Without a fairy, you're not even a real man. What? You got a fairy? Say what? The Great Deku Tree actually summoned you? What? Why would he summon you and not the Great Mido? This ain't funny. I don't believe it. You aren't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to help the Great Deku Tree with both a sword and shield? Ready? What? You're right. You're right. I don't have my equipment ready, but if you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Sheesh. All right. So let's go get some rupees so we can buy a sword and shield. Okay. So first, to get our sword, you want to go not here, but. Um, this will get you some extra rupees. Nope. Damn it. Sorry about that. Um. Alright, you want to walk across here. Be really cautious and fall over. And then you want to turn this way. You can press the, um, L button to Z target. To L target. Come here, there's that girl, pick up some rupees. Now we just wanna go talk to her. Hee hee hee, you came all the way up here, you're a real man. Why thank you. Look, isn't the village pretty? Change your viewpoint with the sea stick, so now you can look around the forest and look that. Alright, let's go get ourselves some rupees from here. More rupees. This first part, first part we're just gonna be collecting rupees, yeah. Um, we need 40 of them. All right, let's run up here. And go here. Yes, walk through here. All right, pick up this rock. A. Can't do it yet. All right, so go through there later. So talk to this guy. Hey, let's work on some moves. To jump sideways while L targeting, press A as you move right to left. Do back click while Z targeting, press A as you move the backwards. To a roll attack while Z targeting, press A as you move forward while you roll. You can avoid damage. If you have your sword ready while Z targeting, you can do a jump attack by pressing A. A jump attack the double damage. All right, you know, he's just telling us Z targeting on the stone. So yeah, we can backflip, side jump, all that. All right, so what I like about this game is it locks the target. All right, let's go in here. And hear a big loud rumble. So that's gonna be a boulder. So you just wanna go get rupees and it's a boulder. Wait for that to go by. All right, now you just want to run through here. Run, 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 run. Go up here, open the treasure chest, and look inside of it, because it's way too big for us. Climb in, fall over, just kidding. You got the Kokari sword on the equipment subscreen. Select it with the cursor and equip it with A. This is a hidden treasure of the Kokari that you can bore up for a while. Be sure to practice with it before you really fight. All right, so you can just go press, if you're using the weave, just press plus and go to your thing. Um, press B, and no, press B to save. And then, yeah, equip it with A. And here we go. So now we can fight with B and slash and hack us the whole crap. Apparently we're getting pounded by a boulder now. All right, now we just want to run out of here. Press A to enter, go through. And now we just want to collect a bunch of rupees. So, yeah. 
I'll see you guys when I get enough rupees oh. to buy a shield, which is fine. And by the way, um, this is well, just how I was collecting rupees. Um, just letting you guys know, there's this house here with a bunch of uh, treasure chests. Green rupee. Blue rupee. Recovery heart. And another blue rupee. All right, now we have enough rupees to go get ourselves a shield. So let's go ahead to the store, which is the house with the blue roof. Um, if you guys want a tactic just to get a bunch of rupees, okay. So what you can do is you can run in the grass, get rupees, once you get like all the rupees from all the grass, go. This will take a while, though. But go back into the house. Go back into a house. Come back out, and the rupee generator is reset. So she's just gonna teach us about L targeting and how you can talk to people now that you have a fairy, which lets you to Z target. So now she'll teach us how to talk to people using the fairy. When a fairy flies near a person or thing, press Z to look at in that direction. So if you use your targeting, you can talk to people and it just lets you turn around too. So if you're facing the direction and you can't do anything, just press Z to look forward. So we're looking this way, Z target, L target for this. And yeah, so now we'll just run in here. So this guy says they sell shields, but not swords. So right, you wanna get the Deku shield, buy it. You want the Deku shield? Don't bother buying any of the other stuff here. It won't matter um, right to you right now because at the first temple, which is coming up soon, well, not first temple, but um, the first uh, dungeon of the game, you'll get a bunch of those. So just equip the Deku Shield, save your game, and walk out. Now we just want to go and see the Deku tree. Now that we have a sword and shield. If you want to see the great Deku tree, you should at least equip a sword and shield. Hey, what's that? Oh, you have a Deku shield. And what's that? Is that the Kokairi sword? Good grief. Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Shoot, how did you get the favorite, favorite of Saria and the great Deku tree, huh? Grumble, grumble. All right, let's just run through here. And, um, whoa, fight some enemies, just press B to do that, and you can get a Deku stick from those, Deku Babas. All right, so I have to C and swing it with C. When you want to put it away, stand still and press A. You can carry up to 10 sticks. Don't waste them. If, they, if you hit anything um, hard with them, it, they will break. And yeah, so, um, uh, there's the Great Deku Tree over there. And uh, in this episode, we got the Kakari Sword and Shield, and I guess we'll end it off here. So stay tuned, and I will see you guys next time.